Hello kids, welcome to the session at Learn Forward platform by Feathercap. I am your English facilitator Garima Singh to make your learning easy and fun. So let's begin. Hope you all are ready with your book Fly High class 4. Now today we will be reading chapter 3 that says Lazy Jackie. So we will be reading about a boy whose name is Jackie and whose destiny had an unexpected turn in life. So something happened in his life which was not at all expected. Okay. Let's read the story and find out how this unexpected turn came to his life. Now before that we have an activity. We need to mark the flags with the countries given and their currencies. Alright. So excuse me. Let's start. The flag of India. It's the C1, then Germany, E, United States of America, yes, the B part. Then we have Japan, the one with the dot in the center and the last we have UK, so this. Now coming to the currencies, the currency of India is rupee, good. Let me change the color. Light green. Okay. So, currency India, I will write 1 for rupee here. Then number 2 Germany, it is Euro. Next we have United States of America, it is Dollar. Japan, it is Yen. Yen, sorry, it is Yen, not Yen, it is Yen. And in Japan, they call it N. You know the Y is silent there, right? But in the in English dictionary, we pronounce it as yen. Then we have, not yen, sorry, yen. Again, I'm confusing. Then we have the United Kingdom. The currency is pounds. So, we've done this. Coming to the next, let's read the story. Once upon a time, there was a boy whose name was Jack. He lived with his mother on a common. So, on a common means... An open land in a village or town for public use. So they had a land that was, you know, for the public use, it was open. <coughs> Sorry. They were very poor. That is the reason, you know, they were living on the land which was, you know, for the public. They did not have their own personalized home. Jack's mother made her living by spinning. But Jack was very lazy. So he was called Lazy Jack. One day, his mother told him that if he did not begin to work for his porridge, she would turn him out of the house and would take, would have to make his living as best as he could. Now, one day, his mother, you know, Jack's mom, she says, Ki now enough of uh, fun, and you know, enough of fun and comfort life, comfortable life you had. Now, you have to earn your porridge. Otherwise, I'll, you know, move, uh, I'll not stay with you and you'll have to uh, Stay separately and earn your own, uh, earn, earn for your own. So this porridge is referring to a dish consisting of an oatmeal. You know dalia, so porridge is dalia. So she says you'll have to earn for yourself for your own. I'm not going to help you further if you don't start working right now. This roused Jack. So bring out of inactivity. Okay, he went out and hired himself for the next day to a neighboring farmer for a penny. So now you know this, you know it really, he was upset and then he had to think of something and then he came out of that inactive mode and then the next day what he did, he went to a uh, neighboring farm and then he was hired there to, uh, was hired to work there. But as he was coming home, never having any money before, he lost it in passing over a brook. Now because he never earned, so he did not, did not have money also. So he was very careless. Now while he was coming home and crossing the you know river, the penny which he earned fell down. He missed it. You silly boy, said his mother. You should have put it in your pocket. I'll do so another time, replied Jack. Now replied, uh, Jack said that mom, don't worry. You know, next day I'll try something else. So now what happens is, he say uh, he went to uh, went out again and hired himself to a cow keeper now he went to a cow keeper and returned what he used to get he got a jar of milk for his day's work as a wage jack put out the put the jar into the large pocket he was a big fool now what he did he put the jar in his 
pocket spilling it and be, uh, spilling it before he got home definitely it is a liquid it will flow so what he did he put the jar in his big pocket and all the milk spilled and there was nothing left in the jar before he could reach home dear me said his mother you should have carried it on your head like this she continued I'll do so another time, said Jack. Now Jack said, Ki Mama said that, you know, because it was a milk jar, you would have put it on your head and carried it like this way, like, you know, the uh, women used to carry the pots on their head in earlier days. So Jack said, okay, Mama, don't worry. Next time I'll do the same thing. So now what again? So the following day, he hired himself again to a farmer who agreed to give him cream cheese for his services. Now, you know, the farmer said that I will give you cheese fine you will work for me and in return you will be getting cheese in the evening jack took the cheese and went home with it on his head he is a real fool now because mama suggested that you should have kept it on your head but that was only for milk now what he did he kept the cheese on his head definitely everything spilled down and you know it must have got uh, stuck in his hair also let's read it by the time he got home the cheese was all spoiled Part of it lost and part matted with his hair. So hair, matted means, you know, it got stuck together in his hair. Oh no, you should have carried it very carefully in your hand, said his mother. Mom said, Ki, look, this was not supposed to be carried on your head. You should have carried it in your hands carefully. I do so another sometime, Jack replied. Now the next day, Lazy Jack again went out and hired himself to a baker who would give him nothing for work except a large tom cat. Now what's a tom cat? A male cat. So next, you know, next day when he went out for, went out in search of work, then he met a baker and he said that I will not give you anything. I'll just give you a male cat. Jack took the cat and began carrying it very carefully in his hands because this time mother suggested that whatever you bring, I mean that was only for the cheese, that the cheese you brought should have been, you know, uh, carried in your hands carefully. So what he did, he took that cat in his hands carefully and he went towards uh, his house. But in a short time, the cat scratched him so much that he was compelled and let it go now because he was holding it in his hands. So the cat scratched his hands and it was so miserable that he has to let it go. When he got home, his mother said to him, you silly fellow, you should have tied it with a string and dragged it along after you. Now the mother said, Ki you fool, what you should have done it, you, would, you should have, you know, taken a string, tied it around the neck and then drag it. I'll do so another time, Jack said. So the following day, Jack hired himself to a green grocer who rewarded him with a big fat pumpkin. So, you know, next day he, when he went out in search of uh, some job, he met a green grocer and he said that, you know, you will work for me and in return I'll be giving you a big fat pumpkin. Now, what was the suggestion mom gave last time that you should have hold it, you should have tied a string and then dragged it. So, definitely this time because he was an idiot, a fool, had no, you know, brains. Now, this time what I think, he must have tied that pumpkin with a string and pulled it. Let's see what happens. Jack took the pumpkin, tied it with a string. What else can we expect out of him? And trailed it along after him in the dirt. By the time he got home, the pumpkin was completely damaged because, you know, once you drag it, on the road, definitely it's going to get damaged, all dirt and everything. His mother was this time quiet, out of patience and lost her temper. Now she gave him so many advices, she gave him so many chances despite that he never applied his brain. So this time she was, you know, in real anger and she lost her cool. You senseless boy, she said to her son, you should have carried it on your shoulder. I'll do some another time, Jack replied as always. So now next time, if he gets something, he's going to carry it on his shoulders. Well, on Monday, Jack went once more and hired himself to a cattle keeper who gave him a donkey for his work. So this time the reward was a donkey. Jack hosted the donkey on his shoulders and began walking. So he put the donkey on his shoulders like shown in the picture and he started walking. 
Now it so happened that he passed a house where a rich man lived with his daughter. Jill who had never spoken in her life. Daughter, so the name of the daughter was Jill and she never spoke to anybody. The doctor had said that it would never speak or hear till someone made her laugh. So there was a rich man who lived with his daughter and his daughter never used to speak and the doctor said that she will not speak until and unless somebody makes her laugh. So maybe she was going through some trauma, some depression or some illness, right? So the father had said that any man who made her laugh would get her hand in marriage. Now this young lady happened to be looking out of the window. We can see the princess, you know, peeping out of the window. <clears throat> Jack was passing by the donkey on his shoulders. The sight was so comical that she burst out laughing and immediately began to speak and hear. Now definitely it was really hilarious. It was funny that a man carrying a donkey on his shoulder. So this girl when she saw Jack carrying a donkey on his uh, shoulders, she started laughing and she started speaking and was able to hear too. Her father was overjoyed, very happy and fulfilled his promise by marrying her to Jack. And now Jack was a rich man. He lived in a large house with Jill and his mother in great happiness. So finally he got his own personal house and then he lived a very happy life with Jill, his wife and his mom. So that was all about the story, Jackie, lazy Jack, see he was lazy, he was a fool and his fullness only helped him out to make, to be a good, uh, you know, rich man. Struggle teaches the value of hard work and dedication. Children develop the confidence to deal with the challenges that are natural part of their life. You know, if you're not able to succeed in the first time, keep trying, second time, third time. See, Jack, he was a fool, no doubt. He was lazy, he was a fool. But then he was really hardworking. He never gave up. He kept, he, he kept trying. First chance, second chance, third chance, four, and then the fifth chance was really, you know, it was unexpected and it was a game changer. It changed his life. So never give up, give up and keep working hard. All right, coming to the next, we have the exercise. Choose the correct option which can be substituted for the word, given words or sentence. Now they've given us a sentence and we need to find a word that describes it. A person who has a shop that sells fruits and vegetables is a green grocer. Very good. Now the second part says that we need to give, identify, sorry, the error given in the sentence. Jack took the cheese and went home with it with it at his head. So where do you think is the error? Jack took the cheese. It is correct. No grammatical error. And went home with it. Absolutely correct. At his head. So the error is at. It should be on his head. So this part, C part has the error. All right. Am I clear? Should I explain it again? Okay, I'll explain it once again. Look on the board carefully. A sentence is given. Fine. And then the sentence is divided into three parts. The first part says Jack took the cheese. There is no problem. There is no error. Even the comma is there. And then the Jack, you know, the name is starting with the proper noun. Coming to the next part and went home with it. Again, this is errorless. The last part is at his head. You do not carry anything at your head. It is on your head. At is used for some place like meet me at uh, Pacific Mall. So whenever you are talking about a particular address, particular space, we say at. And on is when you some carry something on. So on should be the correct answer. So C part has the error. Coming to the next. We have the extract and the question answers. Who was lazy? Correct. Jack. Jack's mother made her living by... So, she was very poor and she made her living by spinning. Next. Jack and his mother were very rich. No, they were poor. False. What did Jack's mother tell him one day? Now one day Jack's mother, he told him 
that he did not if he did not began to work for his porridge she would turn him out of the house and then he'll have to live alone and earn for himself next extract what did the jar contain the jar contained milk next jack hired himself to a cow keeper where did jack put the jar so where did he put the jar jar he put the jar uh, in the large pocket of his coat milk was all spilled before he got home correct absolutely correct true sentence next we need to tick mark the correct option with what with whom did jack live so jack lived with his very correct mother mom who gave cream cheese cream cheese to jack so who gave him the cheese the baker what did a cattle keeper give jack for his work so he gave him a tom cat cattle keeper gave him a tom cat or a donkey let's just cross check Mm. Okay, so where is the cattle keeper? Next day he went higher to a baker. Baker would give him a tomcat. Okay, and let's change it. Baker would give a. tom cat mm hmm 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 a cattle keeper where did we make mistake who gave cream cheese to jack but i think it was the baker who used to give who offered him cheese we are missing on something just a moment hold on now the jack okay baker would offer tom cat and who offered cheese farmer fine so farmer offered cheese and baker offered tom cat farmer offered cheese right this one is wrong and cattle keeper gave jack his work what did the cattle keeper give it was a donkey whose daughter was ill whose daughter was ill rich man's daughter was ill now next we have the fill in the blanks jack lost dash in passing over a brook penny next the cow keeper gave jack jack a jar of milk the dash ja uh, scratch jack so much that he was compelled to let it go, uh, let it go what it was the cat the tom cat the sight was so dash that jill burst out laughing so comic it was comical or comic let's check comical now coming to the next we have the question answers why did jack hire himself to a farmer jack why did he hired himself to a farmer because now it was high time and mother you know threatened him that in case if you do not earn you will not live with me you will be living separately and living your own earning for your own porridge who gave the jar of milk to jack now this is really confusing so jar of milk was offered by the cow keeper who gave a tom cat to jack so tom cat was given by the mm, let's check it again who gave tom cat the baker gave tom cat okay what made the rich man's daughter laugh now the rich man's daughter was going through some trauma so she could neither speak nor hear but then when she saw that jack was you know carrying the donkey on his shoulders she found it so funny that she laughed out like anything and uh, started speaking and hearing too why did the rich man marry his daughter to jack so what was the reason 
Jack, uh, why did the old uh, the rich man marry his daughter to Jack? Now the rich man married his daughter Jill to Jack because he had promised that whosoever makes my daughter laugh and speak, I will you know give her hand to that particular man. So it was Jack who made her laugh and you know who helped him out, uh, helped her out in speaking and hearing. So uh, the rich man kept his promise and got both of them married right so that was all about the chapter i hope you all enjoyed the story see when we have so many characters like even i got confused who gave the cheese who gave milk who gave tomcat we tend to get confused so i would suggest you to read the chapter two three times so that you know you are clear with all the rewards and who gave what so read it two three times go through the exercise see you tomorrow so read the chapter once again and go through the exercises till then take care Happy learning.